I've long been interested in video communication online ever since I got on See You, See Me oh, 20 years ago, which dates me a little bit. But back then it was a, a crappy user interface. We didn't have good, good cameras in our computers. Uh, the bandwidth was like a 14.4 modem, which most of the people who watch this don't even remember, right? And it was t two frames a second, if, if that. Now, now we have modern computers, high speed bandwidth into our homes and really good cameras on almost every laptop and uh, you know other devices. And so we're gonna see a rabbit that brings all that together in a really unique uh, user interface. Who are you? So I'm Stephanie Morgan. I'm a co-founder at Rabbit. And um, my background is really making multiplayer social video games, like really actually exploring things that bring people together and where the whole experience is made much more fun by doing things with your friends. And when myself and my other co-founders at Rabbit really started looking at the video chat space, we realized that there was a huge opportunity there to do something that would be awesome and amazing and be really amplified by being able to spend meaningful time with your friends and really building on um, my expertise and their expertise as well in social gaming. Yeah, and it, when people say video chat or video conferencing or whatnot, they immediately my mind goes to like, Conferencing is already an issue there, right? right? Like conferencing, that's boring, right? Yeah. That's just like, a utility, it's a function, it's just kind of like, okay, we need person A to be able to communicate and potentially see sort of okay person B. That's not fun. That's not what video chat should be, but that's what it has been. Yeah. And it, it, so there's been lots of tries at video communication, right? It would take right. it out of chat. There's, uh, God, you know, from see you, see me onto net meeting, onto Skype, onto Google Hangouts, onto uh, whatever else. Uh, right. There's been a few other attempts that usually uh, uh, die out pretty quickly. What, wh what, bring, what do you bring to the table that's so different than all the others? I think that our approach is really coming from a uh, user experience and design thrust. I mean, we, we all do come from games and we know that the thing that makes something really fun and compelling is when you're not focused on the software. You're not trying to find that whatever thing in the menu. You're not trying to fight in order to do what you want. You just sort of think about it and bam, it just happens, right? It's beautiful, it's seamless, and you can focus and pay attention to the things that you want to do, which in this case would be talking to people, would be sharing stuff with people, right? Would be actually having an experience with people instead of just a kind of haphazard, more conferency conversation. Yeah. And I think that a lot of those apps that you name actually have done a really amazing job at accomplishing the pure conferencing communication aspect. You know, yeah. you can talk to people, that's sort of what they're designed to do, they're great at it. But when you're talking about creating something that is more like you spending time with your friends at a party, at a, at a, uh, at a cafe, at doing things that, where you're really driving and creating connection with one another, just yeah. like you would in real life, there's no software that's really let you do that. And we came from a design approach that would make it just so that it'd just be awesome to spend time with people online. Now this is, it's pretty cool, and that's why I invited you on. Um, first of all, we should cover some of the limitations. You're Mac only right now, right? We are Mac only during yeah. our closed beta. And it's a free app? It is a free app. Okay. You can get it from, from uh, rabbit, rabbit.it. So the first thing I noticed when I started up is the user interface is completely different than anything yeah. I've seen before. Walk me through a little bit what we would see, on, what we see on the screen. So we have taken a completely fresh approach to everything related to video chat and live content sharing. I mean, I really do think that I can safely say you've not seen a design like this before. Um, we didn't want to build on any of the existing design tropes around video chat. We sort of reinvented everything from scratch. And there are a number of things that we've done that just kind of spring to the surface right away. So one of them is uh, Rabbit 
allows um, you t there to be an unlimited number of rooms. Rooms are user created, they are persistent, so you can create a room for you and your friends to study together and another room for you and your friends to watch your favorite TV show every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock. You can mix and match and sort of create spaces um, to spend time with different people and do different things and know that they are always there. When you go into a room, you really see um, a big difference in that initial experience. Instead of just seeing a big rectangle of a person and maybe another big rectangle of another person, we've taken a completely different approach. You come into a room and it really is a space. There's a um, very detailed uh, audio design that kind of goes into creating a really interesting ambiance and uh, gives you the whole vibe of the place. Yeah. Uh, we have a room tone in every single room, which is a plush living room with 10 people. I don't know if you know what a room tone is. Well, I know this, this room has a little <laughs> bit of a fan noise up here because we were able to dampen <laughs> all the audio. But, uh, it, you know, at home, it's usually kids yelling and screaming, right? It's, it's the sound of the space that you yeah. are in. And the sound, even the sound of silence, quote unquote, really does change based off of the acoustics of the room and the number of people that are in the room. Yeah. And by having a really plush, comfortable living room with, a cup, with 10 people in it, that just creates a space of happiness. Yeah. So space, happy. Then you actually get uh, to hear the uh, chatter of the room. As more people come into the room, you have this little buzz. You can actually overhear, just like you would if you're in a cafe or something, or at a party. If there's just a couple people, you just hear that. As more and more people come in, you get that sense of vibrancy and energy, which is awesome. Then um, you actually, though, can focus and actually hear just the audio for the particular group that you are talking to, have that be the primary. Um, if there's content being shared, that becomes the primary. And Rabbit actually will adjust whichever based off of real life cues, kind of like how your brain works. So yeah. if you're... When you're at the top, is there a way to see which room is hot or ha has people in it? Yeah, so Rabbit will let you, um, it'll sort of self-organize the rooms for you um, using our real-time recommendation analytics engine based off of the number of people who are in it, are your friends in it, and kind of help do some sorting for you. But you have total control in where you go and how you want to actually organize stuff. Yeah. So you can filter by your rooms, you can see your friends' rooms, you can see what's hot and sort of featured right then. You can just search for a particular room or um, you can just go to your friends list and actually see all of your friends, where they are in Rabbit. You can jump and join them, invite them to join you. So there's a bunch of different ways to sort of go about and approach it. So it's very, uh, you're gonna have a, um uh, chicken and egg problem the first first week or first month maybe uh, where there's got, not going to be a lot of people in this thing right so you got to get your friends in is it, it, it it's tied to Facebook right? yeah so we're um, building on Facebook uh, you actually can't use Rabbit if you don't have Facebook and we're importing your uh, social and interest graph so the moment you come into Rabbit all of your friends are there. It's super easy to just invite them. It's a really effortless uh, for them to download and launch Rabbit and come join you and go play. Yeah. Um, so you're in this room. You can just chat. You don't have to touch a microphone or mute nope. or anything like that. And it, it's all echo canceled. So it should all be pretty good quality, particularly because you bet on the Macs. So I, I know most Macs have good microphones and good cameras in them. Yeah, that's where, one of the awesome benefits. Where if you're on a there. netbook, a, a cheap you know, China, Chinese netbook, <laughs> you, sometimes you get a, a blurry camera. Sometimes you, the camera doesn't work. Sometimes you know, I, I right. do the Hangouts a lot on Google Hangout, and you see varying quality levels of equipment coming in and, right. and knowledge of how to deal with audio. And it sounds like you've you really spent some time thinking about how to normalize the audio on all these yeah, things. Yeah, I mean, the audio was definitely one of the most challenging aspects of Rabbit. Um, there's a reason why pretty much no other app will let you actually uh, not just have an unlimited number of people in a room, 
but also be able to share both the audio and the video for any content on your computer. It's really, really complex. It requires very low level OS access and being able to uh, manage that, do the echo cancellation, synchronization of the content across all different sort of bandwidth spectrums, ensuring that the audio and video quality and synchronization for the video chat as well is sort of maintained and be completely awesome. That has been a massive endeavor. Yeah. Um, but I think we've done a pretty cool job. So let's say, uh, let's say I'm hanging out with Ashton Kutcher and he wants to show me the new Steve Jobs movie he just yep. filmed, right? Um, can he do that? Uh, yeah, if he has rights and clearances to sort of do that from the studio that he's working with and has it on his laptop, he can absolutely just uh, invite you to a room. You're like, yeah, I'm going to go hang out with Ashton. This is great. You go in. He's like, dude, check this out. It's literally as simple as pulling up the share pad, clicking on the app that he wants to share with you, and bam, it's just done. You guys are now just watching his movie together, laughing, you're throwing popcorn at him, whatever you want. And so we're going to hear the movie playing, and then we can still have a chat over the movies, yep. just like we could in a movie theater. Now, probably they'll, well, they'll, somebody think... will say, hey, will you shut <laughs> up? I'm trying to watch the movie, you know? But we can still have this little, you know, I, I think, yes. So just like if you're, I would assume if you were with a lot of people, it's probably more like a movie theater. People are going to be like, dude, shut up, be quiet. But if it's you and Ashton, it's probably much more like in your living room, right? So yeah. it's you and him, you talk as much as you want, you do whatever. But the great thing is that Rabbit is totally responsive to uh, whatever it is that is going on around you. So if you and Ashton are watching your movie and uh, you guys are quiet, the audio from the movie will actually be the primary audio that you hear. When you guys start talking, Rabbit will detect that and sort of help you out and actually duck the audio for the shared content so you guys can talk and not have to be like, ah, we're talking over this movie, whatever. So it's actually like a billion times better than your living room because it adjusts to what you guys are doing in real time. Well, that's really cool. And it, you, you can share different media types other than just movies, right? Or video, yeah, you YouTube can video. You can, what, tell me what else you can sh share with our groups or friends. Literally anything. If you have it on your computer, or you can find it on the web, you can share it. So if you want to share music, movies, uh, really glamorous stuff like uh, presentations or text documents, whatever it is, uh, you can literally just bam, click a button and share it with everybody. Very cool. Now, it's not conferencing software, so there's not a lot of uh, ways to mute people or be an administrator or there's not a chat room to run it's it's more like a game it's it's more like a, a little chat that we would just informally uh, join and and join up right? yeah it's it's really um i think like how people socialize together in reality um it's not about kind of giving people artificial controls for things like i said the software is very responsive to what it is that you're doing and um, it allows you to have, you know, just, yeah, you and your friends hanging out and talking. Or you can think about large events that could be happening within Rabbit. Um, you could have, like, people who want to, like, DJ, want to do different things. You sort of, like, collect large numbers of people and they're all sort of rocking out. It really scales and changes and evolves um, based off of what is happening. And, and, yeah, when you think about how people really socialize together. It's about having meaningful conversations within a shared experience. And so Rabbit supports that by letting you have different groups of people all within the same room. You can look at groups. You can kind of get information about who's who, how they might be connected to each other. Are they friends on Facebook? What are the kinds of things that they like? And you can overhear the conversation before you actually even jump into the group if it's people that you don't know. Um, and that really lets you do something that's very new in the space, which is really meaningfully mingle from group to group and jump from conversation to conversation, but have a totally shared experience. Now, you can't record any of this, right? It's not like the Google Plus Hangout where you no. can record to YouTube and, and make content that Rabbit people is not a watch. performance art. Okay. Rabbit is life. <laughs> very cool. And tell me a little bit about the company before we end up. How, how were you funded and uh, what, so, what are the plans for the next year? Because 
I assume you want to get on tablets and, and take yes, advantage of that. Yeah. So we're privately funded. We've this is an idea that we have been working on uh, for the last um, year and a half plus. We really started. Um, all of my founders and myself came out of games, and we were really looking to build something together. And knew that that there was a way to, as I said, bring our experience back into the space and kind of do something very interesting and unique. And we started prototyping, started playing around with. Were these crazy ideas that we were coming up with actually even feasible? Was this yeah. possible? And you're right, like this isn't 20 years ago. 20 years ago, none of this would have happened. We happened to sort of have this amazing idea at right the right time when all of these technologies, all of this hardware is actually making it possible. And we spent uh, probably the first six months or so just prototyping and answering basic questions like, how can, can you make eye contact in video chat and how? How can you address some of the um, things that made people feel really disconnected from one another in video chat, like uh, super subtle stuff. You see that everybody is in a different background in yep. traditional video chat and that actually reminds you that you're not in the same place and it's subtextual but has a really profound impact on creating a sense of distance. And you'll see one of the things in our design is that uh, we have a circle shape. Everybody is in an oval. And what that does is it de-emphasizes the background, focuses your eye much more on the person. So you're really, again, focused on the people and things that are sort of important to you and about that conversation. So we answer all of these different questions. And uh, really what you're seeing is the evolution of months and months and months and months of hard work and now we're ready to put it out in people's hands and well, get can't feedback wait, and can't see Can't wait to, to discover it, I think it'll be popular. Uh, where do we get it? Where do we try it? What's the so URL? you can download it from Rabbit, www.rabb.it and um, it is a closed beta to start. We're out uh, now but we are a are, are closed beta and um, so that means some of you will sign up and be prompted to download. We're sort of staggering who comes in when as we're in the process of figuring it all out. But everybody who signs up who uh, is in the US will be able to participate in it. Oh, this is an interesting question. It's US only right now? It is US only in okay. the, yeah. Very cool. Thank you so much. Thank you.